I'm gonna assume that you all are ARMY or BTS Park Jimin Spies because you're watching this. I, I already made it clear in the thumbnail that this is about BTS Park Jimin and his next solo album. Wow, finally PJM1 is arrived. Finally, he breaks the X. <laughs> what kind of phrase is that? Okay, anyways, I trying to connect into his energy and well, I'm, I'm pulling the tarot cards and asking the questions and I hope uh, the answer that given to me with the cards that is shown to me it's going to have a meaningful impact on those who watch these videos especially those who are dealing with self doubts dealing with their limitations Dealing with like they want to do something but they are scared to do so. So this is unexpected, <laughs> as as I've shown in the thumbnail. It's heart of a lion. Yeah, it's it's not a it's not a romanticization. It's I can I can really feel it. Anyway, let's get into the reading without further ado. I'm gonna say that I am asking him as if I am interviewing him, but actually I am tapping into his energy. Okay, so let's begin. So the first question that I asked uh, him is, how is the progress of this album? And the cards that is showing up to me is the amazing combination of King of Cups and Two of Cups. This is very, very beautiful, amazing chemistry. I'm not saying that he's working with his like soulmate or lover, but it's kind of like that. The person that he's walking to right now, when he's working this album, it feels like a soulmate. Uh, in example, maybe he works with five or four people, and they all feel like they're all soulmates to him. So it's very, very good emotional nurturing energy between them all when they are working into this. Uh, with the cups energy showing up, it's like telling me that the people who is working with him are very, very talented musicians. They are the best at what they are doing. They are the best in this industry. And although we might not know their name, but they are very, very talented and they all have amazing chemistry together. So we are expecting a great art piece or art pieces from this album and I can say that he's pretty much satisfied with how the things works with the, within the team works and how uh, the progress is going so far right now and I can feel that there is an emotional satisfaction in this uh, yeah he's working with the best people <laughs> so we can expect in quality over quantity ah yes that is the key these people are very serious in making this. If there is showing pentacle energy, I I'm going to read it as like, this is a gold mine. <laughs> it's BTS part, I mean, he's gonna sell this. No, money is not the purpose of this album. It is, uh, in particular, it is about the emotion. It is about the feeling. It is about expressing what they got inside, expressing that talent. And they all works like a soulmates. Okay, that is for the question number one. Now we move on to the question number two. What can fans expect from this album? Right away, they show me King of Pentacle and Six of Pentacle. With the King of Pentacle and Six of Pentacle energy, I think fans can expect something like a um, giveaway. <laughs> And I am very sure that fans will race to buy this album. I think this will be sold out big time. And uh, also, uh, there is a generous energy in, in this question. I kind of have this feeling that probably, probably, BTS Park Jimin will not gonna enjoy uh, the profit of the sellings 100%. What I mean by that is, I think He's going to spare some some percent, I mean like maybe 10%, 20% or some percent, however percent that he wants to spend. 
to donate it to some cause or charity or maybe a uh, orphan house or maybe for yeah maybe for nature or anything um, and I think this will be happening uh, without anybody can know about this nobody can notice this like uh, he's not like he's not showing people that hey I do donation <laughs> uh, not like that but and also I think there will be a lot of giveaways and I think whatever uh, when fans buy this album they are going to receive more of this what I mean is like uh, you you're going to buy his album the intention is that you pay for his music right but there is some like another like maybe merchandise uh, as a bonuses that comes along with this buying this album and it's like a thank you thank you for buying my product thank you for buying my hard work and that is that is how I see this okay man this guy is such an angel the third question is about the song about the content of the album what is this album about what is the song will be about what is the messages that this song brings spirits want to use my self-made messages deck <laughs> uh, i put anything that i come into my mind in that so uh, and they give me three interesting cards which is go for it knowing me knowing you is the best i can do and the last part is that i'm feeling upset what i'm getting from this is that this is heavily clearly about personal struggle this is about letting go also and it is about courage now let me explain to you what i mean by that first let us start with knowing me knowing you it's the best that i can do this is from a b b a song this ABBA song is about um, two people who's in love with each other and they still love each other but they know they have to go. They have to go because the relationship has become toxic. So separation is inevitable. So that one must to go and one must leave the other. This is the best that I can do. He's trying to do his best. Or if it is about romance, it's about leaving someone that he loved behind because uh, that is the best thing that he can do for both of them. You know, we sometimes have to leave our loved one because uh, it's better than being together, uh, something like that. And the other one is about I'm feeling upset. This is heavily about emotion, right? It's expressing how he feel. Upset is a strong emotion and when we are feeling upset, uh, sometimes we don't know how to describe it because it's so many emotions mixed together. So I think the song is about that, about his mixed feeling about something or something that makes him upset, maybe in the past, maybe in this current situation. But it is about his strong emotion, not necessarily be uh, like upsetting emotion. It is a strong emotion that he feels about something that is and the last card is go for it it is obviously some kind of motivation don't think too much just go for it something like that <laughs> Jimin is uh, dealing a lot with his self jobs or anything right um, I think there is at least one of his song that is talking about that about taking action about not thinking too much, but just give it a try. So it's kind of remind me of what Nam Jun said in the soup season one. Uh, he said that don't think too much, just do it. I think I think Nam Jun said something about don't worry too much, just do it anyway. Also, I feel that when he is making this music, this album, he was dealing with like self sabotage, self dobs. Uh, you know, it's the voice inside our head that is belittling us. At some point, he's being like, oh, this song is going to be hit. This song is going to be top chart. He's so optimistic. But when the depression strikes, he's kind of feeling down and the self-sabotaging, self doubts is going to attack him again. So he's kind of feeling down and feeling like, uh, 
this song is not worth publishing. What song is this? This is crap. This is trash. Us artists often dealing with that shit. And so, uh, but anyways, no matter how he feels, I think uh, I think he just decided to not care about that voice inside his head that belittling him or his his works. Uh, I think he's just just go for it, whether it's success or not. At least I do it my way. At least I show this to the world. At least I show the world who I really am. At least I express all these things with my music. At least I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a musician. That is very inspiring, right? So despite all the bad thoughts inside his head, he decided to just do it anyway. That is what being strong mentality means. The next question is about his favorite song in the album that he's working on currently. For this question, I got the Empress card showing up. At first, I thought it is about maybe a special woman in his life. Or uh, which means like maybe it's about his mother or his lovers. Uh, someone that he dear most or someone he is really adore but uh, it could be that but when I think about it again I think it is more about his sensuality because you know what when I think about it uh, I remember him talking about pole dancing and then I also remember an article where someone interviewing him and he is saying that I want to explore more about my side showing the world the sensual side of me the side of me that uh, I've been keep it to myself all the time. I don't know what exactly he was saying, but I remember I read that in the article. So I think that's the Empress is all about. Empress is the sign of a divine feminine. I don't care you're male or female. I don't care even if you are a liar who's. <laughs> You still have a femininity inside you because feminine energy is an energy of moving, energy of flowing, energy of, yeah, let it flow, let it go, just surrender to what the outcome is, knowing that you will be fine no matter what. That is what I think feminine energy is about. So we all have it. You cannot be a human without this energy, right? <laughs> okay, so anyways, if there is a song that is like filter, but this is filter 2.0. This is filter, but more, uh, but crazier than what we saw in the filter. More sexy than what we saw in the filter song. Uh, I think that is the his favorite song. I think that one is the favorite song. I think he tried to explore more about his feminine energy. Okay, next question. Anything else that we need to know about the album that he would like to share? with us in the spiritual interview <laughs> okay so the card that he gave me is the same exact energy that he was talking about in the previous question uh, which is the heart of a lion uh, basically heart of a lion is about uh, someone who's not following the other like a ship when these motivational speakers talk about ship they are not talking about uh, Taikuk, Chikuk, Namjin. <laughs> that is not what they mean by ship. But what they mean by ship is S-H-E-A-P, the animal. Uh, you know, in a Christianity, the, the religious people are often figured as the ship. In a religion, we always being forbid to ask, to question. We always being told to do this, to do that, following the yeah, religious leader. Uh, so this is not what the heart of lion means. The heart of lion is the opposite of that. The heart of a lion is talking about, I'm having my own opinion. Even though I am different, even though I am not the same as the most people do, I still gonna do this. Even if I'm going to be alone in this, I still gonna do it totally. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to be afraid of this, but I'm gonna be doing me and I'm gonna doing this courageously. 
So this is pretty much aligned with the previous card, which is the go for it card. Uh, which is talking about the self doubt self-sabotage, which is Jimin is dealing with. And that's why he keeps speaking about self-love, right? Uh, by doing this, I mean, like, I think he start to show his rebellious side. No more nice Jimin. <laughs> no more following what market wants to see from me. I'm just going to do me. And I believe that people will love me for who I really am. Or maybe he thinks that um, maybe people not going to love me anymore, but I'm still gonna do me because I choose myself over the industry. I'm not gonna sell my soul to the devil again. Maybe this is what it means by heart of a lion. Next question. What is the outcome of this album, PJM1? Will this album will be popular? Will it make it big? Will it like boom dynamite? Hmm. Okay, the card that struck for me surprisingly is the Knight of Pentacles. This is not the card that I expected when I want the answer is like yes, this is going to be big. But this is also not the card about it's going to be failure. So Knight of Pentacles is talking about work hard, about building foundation. So I think whatever he did with this project right now is going to be a foundation to his future career, to his upcoming career in the future. <laughs> I think PJM1 will be uh, like the root of uh, the root of his solo career in the future. And I think with this Knight of Pentacle, one of his songs or two or his album will be in the top chart for a very long time very very long time just like the promise song in the spotify or uh, soundcloud if i'm not mistaken and maybe he will gaining a new fans because this is knight of pentacle how people non army will receive it so it's very easy that to guess that army will love it because army are very loyal to bts right because bts are very loyal to army they love each other mutually so it's it's going to be an easy guess that ARMY will buy his albums and I'm not going to surprise if it's going to be sold out in just one hour <laughs> uh, and it's going to be a top chart everywhere. I'm not going to be surprised by that. Uh, but how will people know ARMY will receive his song? Unfortunately for this song, i getting a, um, a bad card. It is eight of cups. So usually, I li usually when eight of cups show up, uh, it, it's it means positive to me usually. But in this reading, it's kind of sad because other people who's non-army, they will not understand why do you like this song. His his voice is weird. His style is weird, and he's like a devil. People will not going to understand and. Or maybe they will understand why you like it. Or maybe they will think that oh, it's a good song. But they think there's a lot of better song than this one. Maybe some of them will like say, thinking that why this album is not deserving its achievement. Because there are so many better songs out there. But we still can be optimistic about this because Knight of Pentacle is showing up. We can expect new fans will come in uh, after this album showing up. Okay, ARMY, I think that's all that I got for you about this reading, interviewing Jimin in a spiritual way <laughs> with tarot cards about his upcoming album. I hope everything went well and I hope this album will uh, make it big and I hope, I hope the best for Jimin and I hope his career will be lifelong in this industry and I hope him to be happy. Okay, thank you for stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I love you all. I'll see you next time.